Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Uh, I thought I would do some beginner sketchbook tips uh, for your sketchbooks. For num my number one, before I get to my top one, is make your own sketchbooks. I mean, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube. Just type in how to make a DIY sketchbook, and there's plenty. I'm even thinking of doing a tutorial on how to make them. But in a few days, I'm going to be trying a new system, so I'm making my sketchbooks. Uh, they're going to be a lot better than these, I hope, so there's going to be a new system. But that's the number one tip. The second tip is to use a sketchbook for specific things. And this took me a long time to learn. Um, like you draw only unicorns in one sketchbook or you draw only space things in one sketchbook. Um, you can draw only trees in sketchbooks. Something like that. Like for example, I'm doing a unicorn challenge. I was thinking of making today's video introducing the unicorn challenge, but I'd rather not. Here are my props I've created. So these are the props I created. I can put this at the end of the video so that you can screenshot it, save it to your desktop. If you want to um if you want to do the challenge with me. Uh this is the first attempt of a girl riding a horse. The body's all funny and then uh, I redid it, and I like this one a lot better, so this is, uh, the props is royal, so I did royal princess on a unicorn, um, so yeah, just put your sketchbook into a different, not different, to a specific thing, and then you'll see your progress, um, so, cause you, well, I guess you two, I would do my sketchbook for anything, really, so, for the second one, which is fall unicorn, I did unicorn with uh, fall leaves and everything to represent fall. And so if you do a sketchbook for um, specific things, it'll keep you, it, yes, it will keep you restricted, limited, but that's good because that will give you all art, art block. Um, that's why I like it. So, and then... The third tip is to block in your sketches with markers and um, things like that. So I use highlighters, uh, anything really down to markers. So let me give you an example. Like here's some random sketches. This is from my sketchbook tour. Uh, I did. I'm trying to find an example. I should have had it marked. Uh, let's see. Like here, I blocked in with marker of the girl, and then you see this in my sketchbook tour, and I did this one with watercolor. Yes, this is printed paper. Yes, I did it in watercolor. I really don't care. DIY sketchbooks are meant for messing sketching, and then here I just blocked out with color. So those are my three sketchbook tips, and then here's where I used the highlighter. This is not my own drawing. I copied that one. Uh, I would give credit when credit's due, but, yeah, uh, I found that one on Pinterest, and, uh, here is, like, some random sketches marker, but you get the general idea of, um, of me explaining a beginner tip for sketchbooks, um, so for, I'm gonna announce the unicorn prop to this, uh, here is my unicorn prop. I'm going to show it to you. And I will put a picture of it and the my unicorn uh, prop list. So I'm really excited. I came up with these props last night. Uh, I'm really excited for this one with the dark unicorn. But yeah, there was, to get you really excited for the challenge, if you want to participate. Uh, yeah, so those are my three sketchbook tips, uh, and I'll put this one over here for now, I won't fold it because that makes a lot of noise. Um, to wrap it up, use the sketchbook for specific things. Number two, make your own sketchbook. Number three, block in color sketches with colors. So, I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, subscribe, like, comment. All that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.